Hey, we're at a pop-up park on the Riverside Figueroa Bridge. <laughs> The city of Los Angeles is about to demolish cultural historic landmark number 908, the last remaining steel truss span bridge over the Los Angeles River. But what if Los Angeles could dream bigger? We think it's a ridiculous idea. We think they should save the demo money and turn it into a land bridge. They did it in New York and uh, we can do it here. This is Los Angeles. Rather than tearing down the old Riverside Bridge, why don't we consider turning that into a, a park, some space where people can feel away from the bike path making more room. This is the new bridge here, and we're on the 1939 section, the oldest steel span trust bridge in Los Angeles. The bridge has actually been demolished and rebuilt several times. The original bridge was from 1903. It was called the Dayton Avenue Bridge. But what ended up happening is, the original bridge was a steel span trust, and they built this fancy new concrete arch bridge that looks very similar to the Broadway Bridge. But that had to be torn down after the 1938 floods. And they asked the Army Corps of Engineers to build the flood channel that's come to symbolize Los Angeles. This is the bridge that exists after it was rebuilt from the channelization. The rain isn't keeping us down. We got a bridge to get us over the river and umbrellas over our head to keep us from getting wet. There's a couple of genius architects were driving by one day, RIC Design. They looked at it, they were like, wait a minute, they're building the new one just north. The old one is still here. There's actually no need to demolish it. They put together this stunning proposal of both a park on top and even a visitor center inside the trust. This is the confluence of the Arroyo Seco and the Los Angeles River. This is where, the, this is the whole reason the city's here. Like if there was a place where we could, you know, have place to sit and kind of reflect on the fact that you know it's bear with me for a minute but I just Good saw the God. Lego movie and the, the message in the movie was all the people in the Lego world have to build everything they have to follow the instructions but then the revelation at the end of the film is someone had to make those instructions and I think what it sounds like you know you're doing what it sounds like you know Rich LA is doing is what they're making a new vision and instructions for how we can proceed to make Los Angeles a city that doesn't have the reputation of being the car center of the world, but like has a reputation of being a people-centered city and a place where we can all get together and you know take something that that was built and exists and, and make it into something that will serve and continue to serve the community instead of just throwing it away. Like that's the new paradigm of the world that we're living in. Is how can we reuse this? How can we make it you work know, for us even longer? That, that is incredibly refreshing. And on a day like today, to hear that to hear somebody really express that so clearly, that's that was the goal. That's the hope here, is that that should be our our, our way of working. That should be our not just our vision for a city, but, our, but the, the, the way we make those decisions. And all the, all the great. <laughs> it's awesome. a great day. We always come up this way to get onto the LA River Path, and this is always the most treacherous point. So yeah. I would love to see this become a land bridge, pedestrian, bicycle, park. Open space, I mean, it's a great connector, it's a great community space, it's centrally located, it is. there's a park over there already, confluence, so it only makes sense. <laughs> the city actually has a terrible reputation when it comes to saving all structures. So we're simply saying let's save it, we built it, we the taxpayer paid for it, let's turn it into something useful. Now, now the kind of criticism that I feel like I would hear from people, is they'd say, oh well, you know, our city doesn't have enough money, we can't afford these sorts of things, but we don't want to burn our bridges. Well, that's exactly right. What they did in New York City is they saved it, then they had a wonderful competition. What did that do? It attracted lots of private money. The moment you take this thing down, it's over. There's no opportunity to study it and to come up with different ideas. As we've proven with our organization, Rich LA, we've built 54 school gardens, almost all with private money. This can happen here also. If you go on www.enrichla.org, you can uh, sign a petition. You can, we have a really cool letter writer where you can write to our city leaders. Just let them know. Get it together. Make this happen. Stop making excuses. Los Angeles exists because of oil, because of trains, because of infrastructure and travel. And all those things are right here. Like, there's so much history that can be taught and that can be felt from this moment. The history. This is, this, this place on the Los Angeles River is the original Anza Crossing, which was the moment 
the moment that Los Angeles was created, as we sort of took and know Los Angeles to be. This is that, that, that very same place. Some may say that this bridge is not worth saving, but I disagree. This is a strange confluence. We have roads and rails and river all crossing over one another. This is the reason that the city's here. What if you had a place where you could sit and reflect on the history of this city from its origin point safely? What if you had a way to transport yourself safely from downtown to Elysian Valley and beyond? There's only a few months before this bridge is scheduled to be demolitioned. Sign the petition in the links below from change.org. Make your voice heard. Let's make this into a beautiful urban park. The will of the people is there. Let's make the political will happen. Let's make the money happen. I'm Ezra Horn for Ezra Loves Los Angeles. I'll see you next time.